Hi, I'm Jordan Matias, and I'm Consumer Support Manager here at Dirac. Today, I'm going to walk you through a Dirac Live calibration procedure step-by-step, -step, showing you how to use Dirac Live to unleash the sound that your speakers were made for. We're going to start by setting up the device, attaching a microphone, and then opening Dirac Live. Then, we'll measure the room using a microphone and moving around the room, and then we'll optimize the sound and even customize it. At the very end, we can compare Dirac Live on and off. Here's what you need to get started. You will need a Dirac enabled device, a measurement microphone, Dirac Live for Mac OS or Windows, available at Dirac.com slash live slash download. For the setup, you need the device ready for playback with all speakers connected, up to date device firmware, constant network connection during calibration, background noises silenced, and you need to have the ability to leave the room during measurement. We'll begin with the initial setup. To start with, we'll need to have a Dirac enabled device turned on and connected to the same network as our laptop. Make sure any preliminary setup for your device is already completed and it is discoverable on your network. After the device is turned on, connect the measurement microphone bundled with your device to the device itself or to your computer. Using the Dirac Live app, free to download from Dirac.com, we will sign into our Dirac account in order to retrieve any purchased licenses. From there, I'll select the device that I want to calibrate. This puts the device into measurement mode, which means that Dirac Live temporarily manages device volume and playback until calibration is over. Then, I'll select the microphone attached to the device that we just selected. Once our device is ready for measurement, we can get our microphone ready too. It is important that you place the microphone in your usual listening position for the first measurement. This is the most important position for measurement. Now we need to perform volume calibration. We'll start by making sure any background noises, like air conditioning or road noise, are safely quieted. Some microphones support analog gain adjustments, in which case the mic gain bar will also include a gray section. We recommend setting gain to the bottom of the red bar in most cases. Dirac Live automatically sets our system volume to a low level. We'll need to gradually increase the volume of the measurement tones until they reach approximately our normal listening volume. Be careful with master output. This corresponds to device volume, and moving the slider to the top is the same as turning the volume knob all the way up. Now we'll select the listening arrangement applicable for our space. Dirac Live offers different listening arrangements optimized for rooms of different sizes and configurations. Since we're on a couch, we'll select the wide imaging arrangement. This means that the correction will take into account a wider space in the room. Now it's time for the most important part, measurement. Dirac Live will learn how our speakers and room affect sound as compared with perfect reproduction. Once you press the measure button, the measurement will start. You can use this timer to set a delay, giving you time to leave the room. With the mic in the first position, we'll run our first measurement, which is the most important one. The first measurement decides gain and delay for all speakers. Now that our first measurement is taken, we're going to move the microphone to cover all the points in the arrangement. Because the wide imaging arrangement for our couch consists of 17 measurement points, we'll be moving around a lot. This ensures the best possible correction for our space. We're using the on-screen position indicators to give us a guideline of where to place the microphone next. With all our measurements done, it's time to optimize our sound. Dirac Live automatically applies a default correction filter to minimize your room impact and enhance your speaker sound by correcting the frequency and impulse response of the sound system. If you just want fast optimization without further adjustments, you can skip ahead to filter export and the listening test. If you are interested in designing your own signature sound, 
you can customize the correction filter. By dragging points on the target curve, we can achieve the frequency response we want, emphasizing things like bass or mid-range. Note that correction beyond 500 Hz requires a license on certain devices. You can purchase a license on our website. Now that our target curve is designed, we can send the correction filter to the device over Wi-Fi. We do this by exporting the filter in Dirac Live. Once the bar reaches 100%, the filter is now available on your device and Dirac Live Room Correction is active in your space. We can turn off our computer now and just enjoy the optimized sound. Try adjusting the active filter inside your device firmware for an on-off comparison. This is a great chance to feel out whether you want more or less of a certain frequency and then export a new filter with those considerations. And that's all it takes to maximize the performance of your sound system using Dirac Live. Thanks so much for watching and happy listening.